If we have a set of job listings, we might want to have a taxonomy for those, and I won't get into the details of what makes up a taxonomy because that's beyond what we need to do for Drupal. But uh, Drupal is very powerful in that it allows you to have um, fairly um, uh, controlled vocabularies on the one hand where you can set up a vocabulary and, and let people know um, that they need to categorize their materials into that particular tree-like structure. Or you might have a free form um, tagging, uh, which is more like, say, delicious, where you can create folksonomies by people just inventing their own tags. Um, and and uh, it's nice to be able to, especially for complex sites, to be able to organize things that way. So that is to organize them with a, a, a taxonomy. So let's go ahead and create a new taxonomy. There's already some tags here that are, again, being created free form, and there's some that's built in for the forms. We're going to add a new vocabulary, which is a set of terms. And we'll call this one job types and um, a uh, taxonomy of jobs. That, that'll work. Uh, what different jobs are. That's a really bad way to say it. I don't know which way is better. And we'll save that. All right. So um, let's see. So now we have job types. That's great. Let's take a look at the terms. Oh, we have no terms. So let's add a term. Um, obviously, we just did a food tasting one. So let's just say... Uh, tasters, um, people who taste stuff, and um, and we'll go ahead and save that. And maybe we need to have one that's pudding tasters, uh, and that's um, people who taste pudding. And if we go down here, we'll see relations. Um, this is actually a type of a taster. So we'll make it a sub on the tasters. And then we'll do drivers. Uh, people who drive vehicles. And again, we could have bus drivers and car drivers and whatever other sorts of drivers. We'll save that. Now let's go back to the job types taxonomy. Now we have a, uh, the beginnings of a very basic taxonomy. That's great. Um, unfortunately, we can't do anything until we hook it up with some kind of content type, but we know how to do that. We go to the structure and take a look at the content types. We know that we want this to be associated with the um, job listing, so we'll manage the display of that. And we'll add a new field called job type, and the field name is going to be the variable that it's going to be known by is job type. Um, and what type is it? This is actually a term reference. And then how are we going to deal with this? We could do checkboxes or radio buttons, but let's do autocomplete so that as you type it, it figures out what you want to say. All right, so that's saved. Um, everywhere it's used, um, and the vocabulary that we're going to be using is job types, obviously. So that's the one we actually want to use here. Uh, and as we go through this, if we wanted then to go to uh, content and we wanted to add content and we wanted that content type to be a uh, job listing, we can say it's, uh, uh, we'll, let's do some garbage in here, virtual salary is five. And then we have job type. And if we started to type pudding, it's very slow, but we get pudding tasters. And this is a job for putting tasters, and we can publish it. So that allows us to, again, tag things or um, associate them, classify them um, uh, with a term as we go through. And, and you can then use that to display the content and allow people to find content much more easily. <laughs>